I'm gonna show you guys how to beat Kale. This is done on Rhythm Master difficulty. For 808 the cat's part, just remember you can double jump, but I think you got it. The first stage is basically an easier version of the last stage. If you take any tip from this video, make sure you parry the move where he snaps his fingers and makes you copy the jingle. When parried perfectly, it'll give you a free combo. When you're able to combo Kale, you should use the combo shown at the top of the screen. The console and PC controls are listed there. This is one of the longest, if not the longest combo in the game, so you can maximize damage. Start with the arpeggio stab to get him up in the air, and then finish with the harmonic beam. It could be useful to get this combo down before fighting Kale. When he does the electric surrounding move, just keep moving and the beams won't even touch you. You can also get a free combo on Kale by parrying his other attacks, but it'll take a lot more parries. Make sure to attack him in between his attacks, but don't go crazy because you need to be ready to react to what he does also. I constantly used my partner attacks throughout the game, but pretty much stopped when fighting Kale because it cluttered the screen and made it too hard to read his attacks. Plus, I don't think they did anything. The second stage is easier than the first. In this stage, you'll match Kale's move with a specific partner attack. When he shows the firearm, use Corsica. When he shows the red armor arms, use Macaron. When he shows the blue shield, use Peppermint. You know the drill. In between these attacks, he'll be doing some regular attacks. Just parry or evade them. There's no use in attacking anything other than his limp arms in this stage. Take this stage slow because you have to wait for his move to even make him vulnerable. The third stage is the hardest, but you got it. The electric field move is a little different in this stage because the three beams are locked onto you tight. Parrying them is easier than dodging them. Keep a close eye out for the white orb to form on the ground, and that's when you'll start the parry. It'll take a second to learn the rhythm of the three beams because they're off beat. Once you get it, it seems to work a little better if you parry sooner than later. If you parry exactly when the beam comes up, you'll still get hit sometimes. For the move where the red lasers focus in on you, I found it was easiest to dodge them. Just make sure you're not dodging in the same direction as the laser. Sometimes Kale will melee attack you at the same time the lasers are focusing on you. Parrying his first melee attack and then triple dodging away from everything else, including the laser attacks, worked best for me here. I started by parrying his first melee attack because if I triple dodge right away, I would always run out of dodge before his attack fully ended. Remember to constantly be attacking him during this stage, but don't go crazy because you still need to be aware. There's another move where Kale puts himself in the corner and some flames rise up around him. During this, he'll attack with three long swipes. You can either parry or jump over them. Like the first stage, make sure you don't miss out on the free combos from parrying his finger snapping move. You need to get in damage anywhere you can. While attacking Kale up close, remember you need to always be ready to stop your combo and react to what he's about to do. That's all I have for Kale. I hope these tips helped.